When you write a novel, you are the general contractor. You're also the carpenters. You're also the drywall guys. You're, you're the plumber. You're everything. When you work on a screenplay, you're the guy who paints a room. That's really it. You're just one guy. It's exciting to go to the premieres, but to actually see it on the screen is just flat out weird. I'm not gonna put it any other way. It's not good, it's not bad. It's just weird. You have this world in your head and there's no way it can go onto the screen the way you envision it. It just can't, it's interpretive. So it always seems a little weird for me to sit there and go, oh, that's Sean Penn playing Jimmy. You know, like, it's not Jimmy. It's Jimmy to the audience but it's not Jimmy to me. It's a great interpretation of Jimmy, don't get me wrong, it's not that same concept, but it's, it's just not the book. It's not the book. It's as simple as that. Somebody once said, I think it was James M. Cain, they said, what do you think about what Hollywood's done to your books? And he pointed at the shelf and he said, my books are right there. It's that idea of the, the, just a very different beast. So when the movie comes out, I think of it as, I think of Mystic River as sort of Clint Eastwood's Mystic River. I think of Gone Baby Gone as Ben Affleck's Gone Baby Gone. I think of Shutter Island as Martin Scorsese's Shutter Island. The one difference is the drop, because the drop I wrote for the screen. So there was a short story that was the genesis of it, but then I wrote the script. Then we shot the movie. Then I wrote the book. I felt compelled to write a screenplay for the drop because it had been published as a short story, and then I was approached by Churning Entertainment, and they said, would you ever think of opening this up into a script, creating this whole other world? Part of the, what was in the drop was from a failed novel. And so I had pieces of that failed novel still rattling around in my head. And I said, oh, I get to talk about those people and I get to build this world. And, and then that allowed me to really open it up and then write it directly for the screen. I was actually as involved as um, I wanted to be on the films, which was really kind of, uh, of Mr. Eastwood and Mr. Affleck and Mr. Scorsese. But I actually uh, felt like this is your deal, guys. So I stayed back. I actually didn't engage those productions too much. I engaged the Mr. Gruber production probably the most. Otherwise, I just felt like I trusted you. I, I, I put my faith in you. I hope it works out well. Um, so uh, those were wonderful experiences. I worked with Ben Affleck at the very beginning. I mean, I was Gone Baby Gone was his first film as a director. Um, he reminded me, you know, as a director, uh, very much like uh, like Clint. Clint. Clint runs a set uh, in a very sort of convivial fashion. And they're very relaxed sets. Uh, they don't want tension to come in and mess up the process. A Scorsese set is a different set. It's much more intense. Um, they're doing, uh, it's just di different directorial styles. The, uh, the, the relationship between Scorsese and his actors um, was much more kind of closed off. He wanted to create a space in which his discussions with them were just nobody else was privy to them. Um, so it was very interesting to watch. I mean, you're just watching very different types of artists work. At the end of the day, this is the other thing I, I'm always baffled by people who speak in, in these sort of large generalities about this thing we do, this thing being art. I, I can't stand when I hear somebody say, well, the only way to do, you know, no, there's about 7,000 ways to do art. Whether you're a director, whether you're a screenwriter, whether you're a novelist, whether you're an actor, the, the, the process is completely irrelevant. It's the result that matters.